Number one, you're the puppeteer of conversations. Ever notice how conversations tend to dance to your rhythm? If you find yourself subtly pulling the strings to navigate discussions in your favor, you might be the puppeteer of words. It's like having a linguistic marionette show and everyone else is just a well-dressed puppet. Number two, gaslighting is your unofficial language. Gaslighting, the art of making someone doubt their own reality, is your linguistic gymnastics routine. If you excel at making people question their sanity, congratulations, you might be the Olympic champion of gaslighting. It's like participating in a reality-bending triathlon, but only you know the rules. Number three, you're the master of emotional jujitsu. Emotional jujitsu is your go-to move. If you can effortlessly turn someone's emotions against them or use their feelings as leverage, you're the sensei of emotional martial arts. Number four, selective amnesia is your superpower. Forgetfulness, but only when it's convenient, that's your superpower. If you conveniently forget promises or conveniently remember things in a way that suits your narrative, you're the memory maestro. It's like having a personal memory editor that trims inconvenient scenes. Number five, you're the architect of the guilt trip. If you can design and build guilt trips with the precision of an architect, you're the guilt trip grandmaster. It's like constructing emotional roller coasters and everyone else is just holding on for dear life. Number six, you can cry on demand. Shedding tears at the drop of a hat is your party trick. If you can summon the waterworks at will to manipulate a situation, you're the Shakespeare of crocodile tears. It's like having tear ducts on speed dial. Number seven, your compliments are covert weapons. Compliments, the Trojan horses of manipulation, are your secret weapons. If your compliments are more about strategy than sincerity, you're the compliment saboteur. It's like offering a bouquet of roses with a hidden thorn in each stem. Number eight, you're the maestro of playing the victim. If you find yourself starring in a one-person show titled The Perpetual Victim, you're the maestro of victimhood. It's like winning an Oscar for a role you've been playing for years and the Academy doesn't even know it. Number nine, silent treatment is your silent symphony. If you can orchestrate drama through strategic silence, you're the maestro of unspoken tension. It's like conducting a musical without uttering a single note. And number 10, you're the Jedi of shifting blame. Shifting blame is your Jedi mind trick. If you can effortlessly make others believe they are responsible for your actions or feelings, you're the Yoda of blame shifting. It's like wielding a lightsaber of responsibility, but it magically points in everyone else's direction. If you recognize a few of these signs in yourself, fear not. Self-awareness is the first step toward change. If you enjoyed the content, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It's the secret handshake to join our awesome community. And don't forget to ring the notification bell. It's like the VIP pass to stay in the loop. Until our next rendezvous, keep those smiles wide, stay fabulous, and remember, life's too short for boring content. Catch you in the next video, and as always, stay extraordinary.